from work. What a long day it was. It's 7 p.m. So I cleaned me a fish tank. She promised me she was going to help me clean it on Sunday. And then uh, she conveniently had to leave because it was Mother's Day. So we'll let it slide. But I did clean her fish tank so we can show it now. But it was filthy, filthy. All this was brown from a... Uh, not being cleaned. It probably went about almost two months without being cleaned. She usually stays on top of it, but... So there you go. That's her fish. His name, or her name, whatever, is Moon. She's had it for about a year. So there you go. So somehow... Somehow, I ended up taking care of her fish. She wanted a pet. Yes, Dad, I will take care of it. I will feed it. I will clean its tank. Like I said, she does okay cleaning the tank, but uh, somehow I got stuck with it. So, that's, that's my other kid right there. That's my fourth kid. I got four kids. And the other one ended up being this one. And I must say, earlier this year, there was a big flood in the town where I work. And I got stuck there for a couple of days. And I was actually stressing out about Mia's fish. I didn't feed it for two days. And I was really stressed out that it, I was going to come home and it was going to be dead. But I uh, finally made it home and it's still alive. But, yep, I was stressing out about a fish. There you go. But I didn't want Mia to be disappointed. So, I ended up making it home. It, it was a big flood. I was stuck there for, like I said, I didn't come home for two days. And when I finally did come home, I took the long way. I went all the way around because they finally opened up a road. It took me about 30, 40 minutes longer, but um, I had to make a home and feed that fish right there. So, didn't want to have a disappointed daughter. So, uh, yeah, went out of my way for that. Look what I got. Look what I got. Like I said, when we're under quarantine, we got nothing better to do. That's right. Another Amazon package. You know... If, under quarantine, I have saved a lot of money. I, I don't spend as much. Um, but at the same time, I never shopped on Amazon. Even shopping on Amazon, I still don't spend as much as I used to before the quarantine. But um, all the stuff that I buy is pretty cheap. It's like five bucks a piece. Uh, except for like their t-shirts. I think Max's shirt was like 15 bucks. That kind of stuff's a little more expensive. But the smaller stuff... I buy on sale for like five, six bucks. So uh, it's not too bad. And then it's free shipping. So you get a good deal. But we'll open this up in a little bit. Uh, kids already know what it is. So we'll go ahead and open it up. All right. So let's open this up. So I went to Target. And I bought me this cheap $1.50. Wine opener. So, next time I feel like drinking wine, I won't struggle with the cork. But this is $1.50, so it'll probably break quickly. But, let's shut up and get to the package. It's nothing fancy. I already know what it is. First things first, it goes with a, with a horror movie display. I'm big into horror movies. So, I have a, like I said, I have a horror display. So, first things first, you got the pop. This is five bucks. Terald. This one is from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Uh, the last one I got was the Jangly Man. I already took it out. It's on display. So, we'll go ahead and take this one out. And we'll put it over there on display with the other one. Save the boxes. One thing I like about pops is that you can put them back in the box. It's like you never took it out. So, there you go. Harold, if you haven't seen Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, check it out. It's pretty good. It's not super scary. It's based on the kids' book, but pretty good. The other one that I got is another card game 
Uh, it's a game that me and the kids play a lot. We play it all the time. And uh, we play different versions of it. So, um, a couple of days ago, I got the Jurassic Park version, which we're going to, or Jurassic World, I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and play it and do a review on it. We'll go ahead and film it when we play it. Uh, that'll be a separate video. I don't know when, but we'll play it, do a review, let you know what we think. Uh, we have many versions of this. And uh, one of the funnest ones that we actually play is actually Alicia's one. It's Harry Potter. That's a really fun one. That uh, That's Alicia's Uno version. I already told you what it is. It is Uno Minecraft. So there you go. Like I said, we got many, many different versions of this. This one opens up a little differently. But they are a lot of fun. And uh, each version has a, a, a different twist to the game. So there you go. It's not like we're playing the same game over and over and over. It pretty much is the same concept. But it's got a different twist to match up the uh, what the game, what theme it is at that time. This one's Minecraft. So we got a Minecraft one. Stay tuned. We'll review this. And uh, play it for you. Let you know what we think. And then uh, stay tuned for the Jurassic World one. So there you go. That's what I got. Um, put these uh, pop boxes away. But let's go put uh, let's go put Harold on display. We'll go put Harold on display. Freddy, over the other Freddy, the nun over a little bit, this is Krampus, for those of you who don't know who Krampus is, he's the evil Santa Claus, there's the jingly man, we'll put Harold next to the jingly man, there you go, it's kind of dark, but there you go, then over here we got Jason, and of course, Chucky. So there you go. It's coming along. I got many. I got a lot of horror stuff that's still in storage that I need to take out. So over time we'll display it. And then I got the other ones over here like I've showed before. So I'm just slowly, slowly taking my stuff out of storage and uh, getting it out and displaying it. So there you go. Anyway, man, it's in. Almost 60 days, almost 60 days since I started making these videos. Um, I don't remember what day this is. It could be 59 or it could be 60. Uh, you shall see it at the beginning of the video and I'll put it up there right now. But um, yeah, man, time has flown by fast. 60 days since Washington State announced that schools were closing due to the coronavirus. It was only supposed to be for six weeks at that time, if I remember correctly. And now it is already... May 11th. They extended it to May 4th. Now it's been extended to May 31st. We're on May 11th. I'm waiting on that next stimulus check. Come on, stimulus. Come my way. But, um, grabbing the water. But, time just flies by. It's been a, a crazy, crazy hectic year. Unbelievable. So there you go. 60 days, or whatever day it is. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep documenting these. These have been, uh, it'll be fun to look back, uh, even for my kids when they're older, when they're my age. Woohoo! Many years from now. Um, it'll be fun for them to uh, look back and uh, remember uh, what we had to go through. So, my videos may be boring right now, but who knows? It's kind of like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Remember, they sucked as a rock band, but then in the future, they saved the world. Remember that? So there you go. Original Family Productions, just like Bill and Ted. It's a nice comparison. Thanks for watching.